something on for the last time we got. Too dark for a tarpon. Sign of life though. <laughs> One. They are. Yeah. You want? Yeah. They're. Yep. Those are the bones. I think I can get a shot right now. Yeah, you can. They're going uh, left. Well, I could, but here comes that sharky, and that's why we see all these bones. Yeah. Can you get? They're right here to our left, back. They're all right there. Where? Left. Yeah, let it drift there. I don't know where they went. That shark kind of... That's the last area that I... Oh, no, they're, they're drifting. They're coming towards us. Your fly is working right towards them. Yeah, Start stripping now. Leave it. Start stripping now. Oh, I just... oh, they're back. They're back. Leave it. Leave it there. They're coming for it. Oh, no, they moved off. Uh, cast out. They're up there going towards the sand now. Right yeah, that's it right there. Oh, they're coming back towards us. They're just confused. Strip, strip. strip. Okay, hold, hold. Don't, don't pick it up. Don't do anything right yet. Wait. Um, they're back over here. But they're coming back. They're right behind us. The sharks are kind of circling them. Can't see the fish at all. I see some yeah. movement coming here. To, that's a, the shark. Oh, that's it. They are. They're behind it. So if you want to pick up, cast. I'll pick up and see if I've got a fly. It may have came off. Something. Something ate it. Uh. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, spot lock. Good idea. Uh, but you, you, it's gonna be hard to catch them without a fly. Yeah. yeah. They're wanting to stay around here, so. But those sharks were spooking them. I don't know how. Oh, look. The whole tip is gone. Oh, shit. Just snapped it? I guess. You put a good hit on him. Yeah, there's sharks all over the flats, too. Where are those small ones in front of us? Yeah. Those little sharks? Yeah. Coming out to greet us. There are a few big ones around, but... Tell you what, if you got a bonefish on your fly line here, you ain't going to get it to the boat. Unless you got a stick of dynamite. <laughs> that one over there is a chunker. Look at him. Look at that son of a bitch. Yeah, they're Those getting away. Even, aren't they? <laughs> they're like, uh, yeah. Uh, who owns this fly? <laughs> yeah, look at that dude. He's going to push us out. No, lemon. That's a lemon. Yeah. Sharknado. Lemons, lemons, lemons. You think this is like a breeding kind of thing or something? I've ran them to these out here before. I don't know what happened. They're just, uh, this outgoing tide is like that. I mean, even this flats all to our right is full of them. We'll go up a little bit more than what we'll angle to the right. And then there's another opening that we'll check out. This one's a little jammed up with sharky sharks. <laughs> I'll turn the motor off. He is behind us, swimming away from us. I lost him now. Hold on. He was just idly swimming, so. Sort of a happy boy? Yeah, he just cruising along. Hey everybody, how we doing today? So I finished uploading all the new hats for All About the Bait, so got some free times, too windy to go fishing, so figured I'd do a quick DIY project. One of the things that I wanted to work on was my casting platform. 
uh, video before last, I went out chasing some tarpons on the flat and it was kind of a bit of a cluster um, with not having some place to uh, strip my line. Um, either it would get in the kayak and could get um, snagged up or falling in the water, meaning there'd be drag trying to cast. So I wanted to try to install some sort of a stripping basket. Uh, second would be a place where I could put the uh, fishing, uh, the fly rods sp specifically. I have rod holders on the side for my kayak that I can use for my spinning rods, but the fly rod, because of the reel, I can't use those. But some place that I could uh, mount the uh, fly rod when I'm paddling, but yet not have to put it all the way down on the, the kayak so it's more accessible. And then third would be some sort of bracket that I can install where when I am paddling, I see a fish that I'm able to just clip the, the, the uh, paddle somewhere and not necessarily have to drop it down to the kayak. So those are the things I want to work on today. So I'm going to head over to uh, Kmart and Office Depot, see if I could find something that might work. I tried the milk crate, but it's just a little too small. And... Uh, uh, something probably more in the line of like a laundry basket hamper or a storage tote might work out better so I'm gonna see what I find okay we're back and I think I found the something that might work uh, just a cheap old uh, plastic tote good thing about it I had a six dollar coupon at Kmart this was six dollars and 49 cents or something like that so it cost me basically 50 cents uh, so that works out perfectly. Plus it matches the kayak because you always got to look good because that's the only thing that matters when you go fishing. <laughs> so let's see if we can mount this up or figure a way to mount this up. So I think I found a workable solution. Uh, it fits snug like a bug. Uh, yeah, so you can kind of see it there. And then from the side, it just tucks right in there. It's got a bit of a ledge on the front where my my feet are just right here, so this is just a base that I could lie on. And then I've got a couple of mounting points that I just need to uh, figure out how to mount it temporarily because I don't want this on the whole time because i got to transport it back and forth. And plus, it's got a lid, so it'll be a good uh, dry storage for uh, heading out to the fishing spots. I can put my anchor, fly stuff whatever in there keep in the back of the kayak and then just mount it on here so i just need to figure out a quick mount options for this and then uh that part will be done well that was easy i just went to home depot got these little mini bungee uh, cords and then there's a clip underneath the uh lip on the bucket it was a little bit just a little bit long so i just wrapped it around and then there's a hole in the top where it can fit and it's snug. So I think all I'll do is I'll drill a hole in this corner right here and permanently affix the bungee to, to the base here and then whenever I put it on I just have to uh, run these so that'll be mated on there and then just loop this around and clip it back into it and I'll be set. Man quick and easy. I think three dollars so $3.50, I got my stripping basket. Okay, all finished. This is it, made it up there. I've uh, attached these bottom bungees kind of permanently, so they'll stay on. This just unclips. Out. And it's just loose. So when I'm ready to go, drop it in there. in and boom done well the stripping basket part is set so that'll be a good uh, start there if I need to I'll beef up the mounts but that should work for now the second issue I have is some place to store my fly rod when I'm in movement or standing on the ladder and I've got the paddle and I'm kind of going somewhere, but then I spot a fish. I need that rod to be somewhat more accessible. Now I was thinking about making a uh, holder or attaching a rod holder to the side of it, 
because I do need it to be kind of out of the way for paddle strokes. But then I was thinking, why not just use the stripping basket because it's big enough and deep enough where the reel's sitting inside there. Plus I could leave the line already stretched out and just ready to throw. That would be even better. So uh, I think I'm just gonna make it just sit inside the, the uh, tub and then uh, notch a little hole in the front that will grip the, uh, the rod on the front part of it so it can't slide around. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. Well, that's an easy solution. Just cut a notch out in the front there and then the rod just will sit in that little notch there and it works fine. So it'll be pointed out front It'll be out front, so it'll be out of my paddle strokes, plus it'll be all ready to go. And then I could leave the line all stretched out and just coiled up right there, ready to go. So, yeah, that works out fine. Just drop it in there. Boom. Now, the last piece of the puzzle is what to do with the paddle. So, generally what's happening is I'll be paddling around on the steps. Uh, I'll see a fish, so I need to drop the paddle, grab the fly rod, so the fly rod's in the right position, but laying this down requires me to get off the ladder, lay it down on uh, my outrigger side or on the side of the kayak, then step back up on the ladder. So I, that's kind of what I wanted to uh, change. Um, I can't have it right down the center where the uh, rod is going because that'll actually be in the way. I need it kind of along the side here. Um, I think will work best and I'm thinking I think I think I might have something the two things one is I pretty sure I've got some paddle clips that I won on a contest a while back somewhere in my junk mess but also I was thinking maybe just tie a piece of rope that dangles down that has uh, a j-hook on it and then that way I just drop it on that j-hook and it just sits there and then I could just release it real easily since it's just for a few seconds. I think I might do that because one of the issues is I don't want things hanging off the side of this rack. One, because it might catch the fly line. Two, it'll get break off as I reach for stuff. And three, I actually use this ladder for stuff around the house. So stuff hanging off the edge will make it a little bit less useful. So I think that little rope idea might work. So I just need to find a J hook that'll be about this size. So maybe back to Home Depot. Okay, here's the final design. Basically got one of these wall hooks, tied some uh, twine to it, made a loop. I'll have to adjust it after I've done this on the water to see how I like it. But basically I can just remove it, put it on very easily, run it through the loop. And then it just dangles there. I've got the uh, paddle when I'm ready. I'll just insert the uh, front part of the paddle and wedge it in the uh, hatch there. And then this just drops on there and sits there out of the way while I'm casting quick and easy. So I think that's a very nice and easy, uncomplicated design there. Uh, I have two hooks, one for each side, but I think uh, eventually I'll get it to one side once I figure out what's better, um, once I try it on the water. And uh, just the length to see how I like it the best. I could pretty much put the hook anywhere, so total adjustability there. And then uh, it just comes off, so I don't have to have it attached to the ladder when I'm using it around the house. So that's our three design uh, needs fixed. So the next thing is to test it on the water, whenever that is. <laughs> until I get all my uh, all about the bait orders processed. My uh, yellowtail drift jigs, they come in 50 packs 
And then I also offer a mix. So the mixed ones I have to actually make out of those. So that involves the fun job of separating and counting jigs. I'm not sure what's more fun, folding shirts or doing the drift jigs. But this order is going to Robert Hummel. So got to make sure he gets his stuff. So that is the rest of my evening. Yay. It's all about the fun. So anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed the little bit of a DIY day. Um, uh, it looks like, uh, Chuck and I are going to go out on Tuesday again to see if we could find some flat fish and see if we can get away from the wind. So that'll be something. And anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Buy a hat. Bye.